Since I'm moving, I made a few mistakes, but I'm improving. I'm human, but I've been making daily resolutions. I got to. You might do it different, but I'm not you. Hey, Mark. I'm -made. I'm hey, Mark. Doing things that hey, Mark. I never hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hey, Mark, the podcast where I'm Mark. Get to have open and authentic conversations about mental health, the things that we struggle with, whether that be in your personal life, your work life, your family life, any entrepreneurial stuff you're going through, or whatever it could be. Any of the conversations that you don't have on a day-to-day -day basis. Because essentially what I'm trying to do is break the stigma around these topics. I wanna to start these conversations so that less people are suffering in silence, and so that you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. And so welcome to Hey Mark, welcome to another episode of the segment what would mark do the segment where you can send in your clips you can send in a message to me basically just breaking down a little victory in your life a little struggle that you're going through or something that maybe a friend of yours is going through and basically i'll try and give you my two cents maybe we'll agree maybe we'll disagree maybe we'll come to common ground or maybe you'll gain a new perspective maybe i'll gain a new perspective because i'll have to research your question but basically, we'll all be able to start these conversations and start to grow, you know, on an individual level, but also grow as a community as well. And so let's roll today's clip. I'll give you my two cents and let's see where this goes. Hey, Mark, it's Manisha. And I wanted to ask you today for some advice. Um, how do you get comfortable with being uncomfortable? Like, what are your ways of dealing with that and how you can help me with that? Thanks. All right, yo, this is a really good question. This is a question that is actually perfect for this podcast because it's gonna be very similar to discipline. It's gonna be very similar to self, you know, development or self-improvement, but basically being comfortable with the feeling of being uncomfortable. And so, you know, why is this important? The first kind of reasons that come to my head are most of the important lessons I guess the most important lessons that I've learned in my life have been outside of my comfort zone. This is the place where we know all development happens. And so, like I've said before, when we work out in the gym or when we do an exercise, it's very clear to see that, you know, this uncomfortability, this pain is going to make me stronger, faster, be able to endure more. But when it comes to any mental struggles, or emotional struggles, it's very difficult for us to make that connection sometimes that this is going to make me stronger, this is going to make me better, this is going to make me more honest, a better man or woman. And I think that, you know, being present into these moments, I think that being more comfortable in these uncomfortable situations acclimates us to them. And it makes us more present in that moment instead of engaging in that kind of fight or flight feeling. And we can start to own the moment. We can start to control the moment, not control the universe, not control the events that happen to us, but take a step back and think before we react to actually control ourselves in that moment, control our emotions, observe them and see why we feel the way that we feel. Maybe take a look at the judgments towards what's happened that we harbor inside. Maybe take a look at, you know, your perceptions or certain biases that you have towards an event that happened or anything that could have gone on in your life that's making you uncomfortable. Being able to be comfortable in those uncomfortable situations allows you to take back that control. And basically you're not reacting to that situation you're just acting in a way that is going to basically align with not just who you are and who you want to be in the future, but it's aligned with, you know, the collective good, the, the goal that will be the goal that you're striving towards is, I guess, an outcome to any situation that's making you uncomfortable, an outcome that's favorable for everybody. Being comfortable in uncomfortable situations is going to help you out because it's going to make you believe that things you couldn't believe before were achievable are going to feel achievable. It's going to make you see a new normal. It's going to expand your perception on what's possible for you to achieve. And 
as that perception of what's achievable grows, you're going to experience things that you've never experienced before. And so as, as your tolerance for this uncomfortability grows, you're going to experience more than you've experienced before as well. So you're going to experience, you know, more love, more health, more wealth, more connectiveness. You're going to feel less alone. You're going to feel happier. You're going to feel more joy. And that was what my goal was in the very beginning of all of this was just to be able to feel a little bit less depressed and feel like I could function at a normal level. At the end of the day, all things that we are striving to have in our lives are built outside of the comfort zone. And so, you know, let's start to actually apply this to our real lives, right? You know, if you're gonna wanna gain money, you're going to have to be outside of your comfort zone. You're gonna have to work harder. You're gonna have to maybe work longer hours. You're gonna have to maybe have the discipline to save. Maybe have the discipline to spend less, whatever it may be. You're gonna have to have the discipline to not fear the judgment of other people if they have a newer vehicle than you, a newer home than you, they live in a better apartment, in a better location, they look better, whatever it is. You have to basically be able to say fuck you to all of those judgments and just have the discipline to save your money. If you wanna have love, you're gonna have to be vulnerable. You're gonna have to be open. You're gonna have to give love and you know, you're gonna have to act in a selfless manner. You're gonna to have to be uncomfortable. You're gonna to have to tell the truth. You're gonna to have to do things that you know, you'd necessarily don't wanna do. And it's not just to you know, appease your partner. You're doing it because you want to make them happy at a genuine level because when you're happy, it, because when they're happy, you're happy. So it comes from a genuine place. If you want the body that you want, you're going to have to go through uncomfortable workouts. You're going to have to maybe be uncomfortable saying no to the foods that you, you maybe used to enjoy with your friends or family members. You're going to have to say no to that extra beer after work. You're going to have to be uncomfortable, maybe have some social judgment there because you're not making the same decisions as your you know, friends or the people in your social groups. You're going to have to make sacrifices and be uncomfortable. Right. If you want to be traveling, you're going to have to be able to be uncomfortable. You're going to have to be learning new languages, experiencing new cultures, maybe eating foods you've never eaten before, staying in places that are unlike any place that you've never stayed before, staying in places that maybe have different weather than you're used to, literally being outside of your physical comfort zone. And so I think that it's very clear. All of us can agree that the best things in life are experienced and gained and taught outside of your comfort zone. And so how do you build that level of comfort in an uncomfortable situation? Well, if you've listened to this podcast regularly, if you've listened to it before at all, this is probably going to sound like beating a dead horse, but Building up your tolerance to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations is the exact same way that you build discipline. It's the same way that you build any other skill, really. It's just by doing it more often. If you want to be more comfortable in an uncomfortable situation, purposely and voluntarily make yourself uncomfortable as frequently as you can. And you're going to get acclimated to it until you're comfortable there. I'll give you two examples. So the first one for me was telling the truth. Telling the truth to people was something that I always, I guess not avoided, but struggled with. I never directly lied to people, but I always found it difficult to tell the whole truth, especially when it meant putting myself in an accountable situation, when I had to be accountable for my own actions. And what I found was the more often I practiced being honest and, you know, taking on extra responsibility or taking accountability for things that, you know, maybe I didn't choose to have a certain event happen, but being responsible enough to basically choose the best course of action after, you know, being honest about those things, the more I was able to do that, the more I was, you know, practicing that, the more frequently I was practicing it, the easier it had become. And the same goes for, you know, anything else. The other example I can use is meditating or even reading. 
Both of those behaviors or habits have been very uncomfortable for me to start and continue to do because you know, with both meditation and reading, you're having to sit still in a way that you're not talking, you're not really interacting with anybody or the things around you, you're just sitting and focusing on one certain thing. You know, it's either your breath or the words on a page. And for me, that's really difficult because I'm pretty hyperactive. I move around quite a bit. If I'm sure if you were to watch this entire episode in fast motion, if you're watching the YouTube version, I'd just be literally vibrating because if you're just listening to the audio version of this on a podcast, you know, I kind of rock back and forth in my chair. I move my hands around. I, you know, lean forward. I lean back. Sitting still for me is really difficult and it's uncomfortable for me to sit still for a long period of time. Even doing these episodes at like a 10, 15, 20 minute burst can be a little bit uncomfortable for me. But, you know, the more I practice sitting still and the more I've actually found ways and tips and tricks for myself to sit still for a longer period of time, maybe tiring myself out beforehand with a workout, whatever it may be, you know, the more I practice sitting still, the less, well, not even the less uncomfortable it gets, it's still quite uncomfortable, but the more comfortable I am in that situation. And then the more I can actually start to breathe, relax, and start to find ways that I can be comfortable so that I can actually think clearly and convey the point that I'm trying to explain. And so, like I said, you want to get more comfortable in uncomfortable situations, do it on a regular basis, do it on a daily basis, do something that fucking sucks daily. That's all I got. Thank you so much for the love, the support. You are the reason that I do what I do. Much love and peace out.